Thank you, Madam President. Before you today, we have Senate Bill 1568, which comes from your Senate Judiciary Committee with unanimous support on the Angros Bill. Senate Bill 1568 creates a technical fix to ORS 125 so that vulnerable youth between the ages of 18 and 21 can ask an Oregon court to appoint a trusted adult as their guardian. If passed, this bill would help protect an estimated 70 to 100 young people each year who have been abandoned, abused, or neglected. In 1990, President George H.W. Bush signed a federal law that provided the protection and support for immigrant youth up to the age of 21 who have been abused, neglected, or abandoned by their parents, allowing them to remain in the United States. One criterion for this program is a state court order finding that the youth have been subject to abuse, neglect, or abandonment, and that the youth is currently in the care and custody of an adult. Consistent with this federal law, Washington, California, Colorado, and other states have all fixed their laws to protect vulnerable youth after they turn 18 by allowing them to stay with a trusted and supported guardian. But currently in Oregon, once a person turns 18 years of age, they cannot have a guardian appointed for them unless there is a showing of incapacity. This leaves vulnerable youth both without an option for a trusted adult guardian and without the opportunity to utilize this federal program. Oregon should not fall behind in protecting its young people and deny them existing federal protections. We heard about the plight of one vulnerable youth this bill would help in last week's public hearing. Maria was born in Honduras, but was forced to flee her home country at the age of 14 after her parents passed away and her life was turned upside down. Escaping the threat of gang and sexual violence, Maria came to live with a family friend in Oregon. Working with an attorney, Maria tried to have the friend appointed as her guardian, but narrowly missed Oregon's guardianship age cutoff. For vulnerable youth in our state, Appointing a trusted adult as their guardian is the first step to avoid adverse experiences like homelessness and trafficking. Youth like Maria are particularly vulnerable to incidents of abuse and, and violence, which compounds any trauma that they have already experienced. We have an opportunity to make a simple legal change that extends the guardianship age range for youth who have demonstrated the need and consent to the support of an adult who meet the qualifications for this existing federal program. It is the intent of Senate Bill 1568 to protect vulnerable youth in Oregon. Senate Bill 1568 serves the state's interest in combating human trafficking, preventing the further abuse of youth, decreasing reliance on public resources, and reducing homelessness. Rather than leaving young people in potentially danger dangerous conditions, the legislature should support their transition to safe housing and foster their future success. As mentioned, Senate Bill 1568 passed out of the Senate Judiciary Committee with unanimous due pass recommendation, and I recommend an I vote today. Thank you. Discussion? Senator Wagner, do you wish to close? The question now arises. Oh, oh, yes, you do. Brief piece, Madam President. And that is, this is an example of when one passionate constituent can bring you a bill during a long session and then have a talented LPRO analyst and counsel <laughs> that works on cat herding uh, groups of advocates and bringing people together over the course of many months to be able to determine the language that meets everyone's satisfaction. So I couldn't have this go without saying that there was significant work during the interim, and I want to thank Chan Newell specifically. 